Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're gonna study half hours and whole hours and the minutes a little bit too. Now we're gonna study the clock with both the hour hand and the minute hand, okay? The hour hand is here, the minute hand is this longer and sl more slender hand. And if you look at the hour hand, it is pointing to four. So this is four o'clock, okay? The minute hand is, it looks like it's pointing to 12, but actually you have to think of it as pointing to zero, zero minutes. This is four hours and zero minutes. The numbers for the minute hand are not on the clock face at all. You have to maybe imagine them here outside the clock face, like zero and five and 10. We'll look at those later, okay? Anyway, now observe what happens when I'm gonna turn the minute hand. The minute hand went once around the clock, but what did the hour hand do? Let's go back. We go back to four o'clock. What does the hour hand do? It moves slowly from four to five, and now it is five o'clock. And the minute hand went once around the clock face. So one hour passed, okay? Exactly one hour passed between four and five o'clock. And the minute hand went once around the clock. For the minute hand, one hour is exactly 60 minutes. Let's do that again from five o'clock to six o'clock. It's five o'clock and one hour will pass and the hour hand moves to six. The minute hand went around the clock face and that is 60 minutes for the minute hand. Now we are at six o'clock, six hours and zero minutes. Do you remember what time it is when the hour hand is pointing halfway between six and seven? Halfway between six and seven is half past six, right? And we have another way of saying this, and that is that it is six hours and 30 minutes. Because look at the minute hand. I'll go back to six. Six o'clock is six hours, zero minutes. Now when we go here, exactly halfway between six and seven, the minute hand has done half around. So the minute hand has traveled 30 minutes, half of 60 minutes, okay? This is also said as 6.30. It means six hours, 30 minutes. Now here is a clock face, and this time it has both the hour hand and the minute hand over there. And then it has some extra numbers too. These numbers outside here are for the minute hand. And normally in a clock, you do not have those numbers written out anywhere. Here's a clock as it appears normally. It does not have the numbers for the minute hand. You have to know them without them showing up there. The numbers here are only for the hour hand. We have already studied how to read the clock for the hour hand for the whole hours and half hours. So if you ignore this minute hand, what time is it? You should be able to tell. So it's halfway between three and four. It is half past three, right? And we can see now that the minute hand is added in, it is pointing to 30. So actually this is three hours and 30 minutes. For the hour hand, it is three full hours and then the half hour too. For the minute hand, it is 30 minutes. We have two ways of saying this time. Half past three, which you already learned. The other way is to say the hours and the minutes with numbers. Three hours and then a colon and then the minutes, 30 minutes. 3.30 is how we read it. What time is it? You can ignore the minute hand and tell what time it is. Seven o'clock, right. And the other way to write it is seven hours, then the colon, and then the minutes would be zero, zero. What time is it? As if, you know, you can ignore the minute hand. What time is it? Half past nine, right? If I use numbers only, I put nine for the hours, then a colon, and then 30 for the minutes. What time is it? Half past something, yeah. Half past 11. If I use numbers only, I write 11 for the hours and 30 for the minutes. 